Hello everyone, welcome to Decorating with Barbara. And if you are here for the first time, thanks so much for joining me. Today guys, I will be redecorating the top of my kitchen cabinets. Okay guys, so this is what it's looking like right now after Christmas. And it's pretty dull. So I'm going to try and add a little life. Even though it was this way before Christmas, after taking the green and the red down, it just looked bland. So I think I need to add something else, a little color, or maybe even just some different accessories. So let's see what happens when I go downstairs. I'm going to try and do this without spending money and just go to my storage unit downstairs and see what I can find. Okay guys, so here are a few things that I found downstairs and everything looks pretty neutral, but I'm hoping to use some of the lighter color as the backdrop. And actually, I'm wanting to take the colors that are here in the cabinet and over here um, on my focal point on the hutch and transfer all of these colors around the room. And so I just think that the other side of the upper cabinets are just lacking just a little um, style. So let's see what I come up with. Okay, so I did find um, this little plate that may work and it has all the colors, the uh, kind of gray, a little bit of brown and cream. So I think this should work and hopefully I don't have to make a trip to Goodwill, but if I do, I'll take you guys along. Okay guys, so this is how it turned out. I did change this side out completely, but then on the other side, I just changed um, the end pieces. Pretty much I um, added the plates and replaced um, the tall galvanized bucket. And then I added some um, pots to either sides of the kitchen side. And so over here on this side, because I had a lot going on in the um, hutch, I wanted to keep the top a little bit um, simple. So over here, I used the same concept as I used in the dining room just keeping everything high and low, um, front to back, just so there's movement and um, it keeps your eye moving around the space. And if you do one like this, my cabinet is pretty long, um, but you wanna keep your vignette within 36 inches, about 36 inches long is enough and I think this one right here just um, hits that mark so you want to be sure that you don't overcrowd it for me this is more than enough more than I probably put up there but once I started to place things up there things just started flowing and I just started putting different pieces to see how things look and I end up liking it and what really um, started the whole vignette was the bottles inside of the uh, wire basket. I placed that up there and I really liked it and I had the bowls because if you guys remember I told you I wanted to mimic what was in the china hutch as far as the colors and so um, once I started placing those colors up there, 
I just felt really good about what was going on and I just kept going and this is what I ended up with. So I am very happy with the way it turned out. The only thing about this vignette um, or about the pieces that I have up here um, is the glass because you know this is the kitchen and you may have to clean the glass more often so that's the only downside but other than that I really like the way it turned out um, I'll just have to wait and see because we all know that dirty glass is not pretty so we want to make sure you know because this, this is the kitchen and this is where we cook and a lot of you know uh, grease residue or whatnot um, can get on your um, upper cabinet items you want to be sure that you keep them um, clean especially the glass so if it turns out that I'm going to need to clean this a lot more often than I want then I may trade it out but for right now I like the way it looks Okay guys, so thanks so much for watching and don't forget we have a week long of videos so if you are new and just um, tuning in as a thank you to you guys for getting my subscriber numbers up to 13,000 or over 13,000 I am giving back to you guys a week of decorating videos so if you're interested in decorating videos Come back tomorrow and the rest of the week. And I hope you guys have a blessed Sunday or the rest of the week. And I will see you guys tomorrow. Bye-bye.